Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Bradley. And thanks very much for being here and happy Easter to you. God bless and I hope you're well and I hope you and your family are going to have amazing things to come. It's Easter time and you know what? Easter is one of my most very, very favourite things. Easter for me resembles family so perfectly. It's a time of kind of putting all of those things, those kind of quarrels and crosswords behind us in just for that time around Easter of just coming together and sharing a really wonderful time, whether that be a family get together in the garden, whether that be sort of Easter egg hunts, whether that be a barbecue or whether that be a big sit down meal. For me and my family, that is a sit down meal. Easter Sunday, very, very formal, very, very family based. My mum preparing an amazing, beautiful uh, meal. Um, very often it used to be my nan, bless her heart, would come to Easter dinner and she would sit at the top of the Easter table. And um, it was it was amazing. Always my mum, my dad, my brothers, my nan at Easter table, at the top of the Easter table. And um, I would always be staying with my nan. And we'd come over and nan would have gifts and, um, and wine and pear cider for my dad. And um, yeah, it was, it was really, really magical. This year is really different because it's the first year without my nan. I lost my nan last year on the 31st of May. She was 95 and I am blessed and I am cherished and I'm so privileged that my nan is my nan and I'm very sad this Easter to think that she's not here but I'm almost and I'm but I'm I'm also blessed to think that I had such a wonderful time and such a wonderful journey with my nan at, at the same time as well and that she will always be my nan and this Easter of course represents so very much of what is important in this life that number one for example you shouldn't let your past determine your future you shouldn't let it hold you back and if you're not of a religious background i am i am a christian a very proud christian my faith means a lot to me um and my nan had amazing words of the lord above and it really gets me through now that she is not here and it brings me great strength and it brings me great clarity of my faith and it brings me that love and that connection that I still have with my nan even though she's not around me and I can't throw my arms around her and give her a hug and a big kiss. Easter of course resembles so many different things so for example new life we see all the amazing beautiful spring flowers coming out and of course the lambing season and spring is so amazingly beautiful after such a dark and sullen winter and especially because of all the horrible things we've heard of it could be covid based released but we've heard of so many nasty things happen over the last year and in a couple of years actually so Easter this year is very momentous and of course it's a, an, it's an amazing time and a perfect time to be able to put all these horrible nasty things aside and actually to, to kind of coincide everything what is great about life and that actually if it's not going right for you today that you know what you're blessed and you're going to be able to get to do all of this over again tomorrow and hopefully it will go right for you. Easter of course is about new starts. Um, of course when Christ died and rose again. That symbolizes so much for a lot of different people, but of course Easter doesn't necessarily have to have a religious ethic or background at all to it. It can just be that amazing time just to spend with family and friends and get together and switch off from work and a stressful life. I would never be somebody to push faith or push religion on somebody at all. That's not how it should be at all. It's a big part of my life and something which is very, very dear and close to my heart. But for people, Easter is many, many different things. And of course, I think what we can all agree on is that Easter is a special time for us to come together to switch off, relax and enjoy the small things which we take for granted in this life. Whether that be just the love of your mum and your dad and your grandparents around you with your children and your wife or husband or whatever. And that real close connection and to enjoy that love, to enjoy that joy, that laughter, which very often we've missed in the last couple of years throughout the COVID pandemic. For me, uh, yesterday was absolutely a really great, amazing, beautiful start to Easter because I, I got to have my uh, niece, Lacey, here um, and we went to town and um, uh, and it was really, really lovely with my mum and we had a really nice time. So it was my, my niece, Lacey, and of course her nan and my mum and, and we had a really lo lovely time together and it was really lovely to start Easter off. It really was. Um, 
And then today, Good Friday, so of course very traditional, but we uh, went out, done the shopping and everything today with my with my brother and my mum, and of course sat down to dinner, fish, always traditionally on Good Friday, and of course tomorrow, which is really, really amazing, is my brother and my sister-in-law are hosting, and it will be really nice to spend some time with the family and everything kind of as a get-together in the garden and everything tomorrow, so that's really, really nice. And then of course Easter Sunday will be a very in a way formal, uh, a very formal sort of occasion for us in this house, really, really lovely, um, and I've got gifts for everybody, and uh, which is really, very nice as well, which I love, and it's small, doesn't have to be expensive, bearing in mind, of course, and that's nice, and then, of course, we get to have an extra long weekend with Easter Monday as well, so Easter for me is, I just love Easter, Christmas is very, very special to me, and Easter is almost like a second sort of holiday, just shortly behind that, which makes everything so really, really nice, this life is really, really difficult at times for us all and I think it's important that we take time to enjoy the small things in this life whether that just be a small get-together with friends, family, parents, grandparents or even just a friend whether it be just of an evening or a couple of hours with your girlfriend, boyfriend, friends, family, what have you really really special, really really magical and something to be treasured and blessed with of course, a holiday such as Easter, really, really amazing and something to really kind of grin at and put all those quarrels and sort of crosswords behind, behind us all and really enjoy just the right now. And of course, that's such a blessing, the here and now, because of course, ultimately, none of us are promised a tomorrow. Whatever we do, whatever we've got in the bank, whatever we haven't got, whatever we're stressing about, none of us is truly promised a tomorrow. And I always say that, that if we are blessed with another, Let's grab it with both hands and let's run with it. So I think, which is really momentous, really amazing to kind of be spontaneous and sort of grab the here and the now and make it special. If you want to tell somebody something, if you want to share something with somebody, or if you want to tell somebody you love them, whether that be your parents, whether that be perhaps your, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, you're proposing or you're ne taking the next step in a relationship, don't hold off, do it now. Kind of grab the here and now and be spontaneous with it. Easter, what a really, really magical time to do anything like that as well. Of course, Easter is for children as well, which is really magical and really, really great. So I'm blessed with nieces and nephews, and, and sadly I don't get to see two of them, but I absolutely adore all of them, even if I don't see them, and I absolutely love them to pieces, and I've got the Easter gifts as well, the ones I, I do see, bless them, and hopefully in the future, my other two I will get to see in the future, and all of that will just become perfect in the end. I really, really, truly hope. Life throws so many different things at us, doesn't it? And unfortunately, it's not always good. And unfortunately, it's tough and it's difficult. But something I read pretty recently is what we should try to think and what Easter so perfectly kind of brings together is that we shouldn't think, why on earth is this happening to me? Or, oh my God, I can't get through this. Sometimes we should kind of stop and we should take a, a step back and we should think to ourselves, do you know what? What can I learn from this? What is this situation teaching me? Easter so beautifully puts it right that actually that whatever happened days ago, weeks ago, or within this year, we can kind of enjoy and celebrate such a wonderful occasion, if not from religion or faith, but just a wonderful time of all coming together. And how amazing to kind of put the past to the past and then look forward to a bright and happy and healthy future, hopefully. Easter for me is very, very important, and I love Easter. I love Christmas, love Easter, any excuse to get the family together. This year is very, very difficult because I haven't got my nan to hold, to hug, to love and to give gifts to and to hear her natural way and hear her beautiful treasured voice and stories. And yeah, it's difficult. It really, really is this year. I wish to God that I could have just five more minutes with her. But then, of course, as we are in this life, greedy, five minutes wouldn't be enough and I wouldn't let her go again. Sadly, I don't get to have that blessing, but I know she's looking down on me. And as my nan and the Lord is my witness above, I truly do hope that it's a special time for us all. And sadly, you know, we know that it's not going to be for a lot of people. So with that said, I wish you a very, very happy and blessed Easter. And I hope that you're well and your family are well and healthy. And I hope that you get to have a wonderful Easter weekend. And I hope that everybody who you love and who means so much to you, are healthy, and you get to have a really great time with them as well. Happy Easter, Easter blessings to you, and thank you very much for being here. I would really like to take this time just to thank every single subscriber, um, and just to thank them for their support, their, their kind of 
kind of push, that kind of hypothetical push on my channel, and that really greatness because of all the well wishes and all the and all the great things I've received on my channel. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me. So thank you very much to everybody who has supported my channel, subscribed to my channel, and everyone who has watched even a second of my channel. Thank you very much, and it means a huge amount to you, a huge hug to you, and I really, really hope that the rest of the year will be just as great. So having said that, I will leave you on that note. Thank you very, very much indeed, and until next time, happy Easter to you, God bless you, and I will see you real soon. Bye for now.